showed you great ways to use faux marble to decorate around your house. All it takes is some fancy looking contact paper. That's it. Now Ashley Shearer from the Makery KC is here in the Price Chopper Kitchen to show us how to put together our own marble-esque masterpiece. That's right. Which we showed earlier in the show. We showed our viewers how yes. you can do it as a vanity or yes. a charcuterie tray. Is it charcuterie or charcuterie? Charcuterie. Charcuterie. Yes, I think. Make it fancy. <laughs> it's a fancy sounding name. The Makery KC making faux marble. So show us how it's done. Okay, well first I'll start you off with supplies. So we order this um, contact paper from Amazon. $17 for a roll of like six feet. So this can get you a long ways. Um, you'll wanna pick up some handles. Again, we ordered these from Amazon. And Could you go to craft place in town, like Michael's Absolutely. Or Hobby Lobby, and they yep. probably even have Home it. Depot would have stuff. We yeah. the gold we couldn't find in town anywhere, so we like to finish everything with gold, yeah. <laughs> gold and marble. So we got these from Amazon, and then you'll want an exacto knife, uh -huh. um, some scissors, and then some tape and a pen. And this I'll give you a little trick on how to line up your holes for drilling, a little bit later. And then I got pine board. Um, it's about one inch thick. And then you can have them cut it to whatever size you want to work in. And what we're going to do first is just kind of stain the edges to give it that really finished store-bought look. So just kind of rubbing the stain along. With basic paper towel. Yep. Nothing Disposable. Fancy. Yeah. Make it all quick and easy. You're not going to believe how simple this project can be. And you just do one one go over with the yeah, same? Yeah, yep. Um, if you wanted it darker, you could wait till it dried and then give it another coat, but one run is plenty. So you just kind of finish that. If you wanted to polish the underneath side, you sure could. Then comes the contact paper. And this is actually pretty fun, I feel like. So it's just peeling away the backing. Mm -hmm. I'll let you kind of peel that back. And then we're just going to keep the tension and slide it right onto your board. You don't have to be That's too precise it. with it. Yep. Rub it down so you get all the air bubbles out. That's satisfying. That's, isn't I that? don't know why that's so satisfying, <laughs> but it is. The best part is then cutting it to the board. And it's just this nice thick contact paper. So you'll meet it at the edges of the board okay. and just run the blade do you leave all the way down the side a sides. little left over so you curl it over or i like to just run it really flush so that you don't have anything to get caught on okay so you'll just kind of keep you sliding can't... that along oh, okay. and that's how i did it on the fireplace too yeah. you just run with a straight bright blade so has anybody come over to your house and seen your fireplace and been like, wait a second. Yes, but you know what? I'm such one of those give away all my ticks and trips. I can't even pull it off that it's real for a minute. I'm like, like you tell not going to believe it. That is contact paper and it cost me $40. <laughs> you tell everyone what you got on sale. Yes, at the store. I yeah. do. I'm like, Target. This dress was $4. That's great. <laughs> so you'll just kind of cut this all the way around. Uh -huh. And then wherever the holes are, I already did two, you're just going to kind of cut into the board where those little drill marks are. Okay. And this is for the handles? This is for the handles. So I'll give you a little trick on the second handle over here. When we drill it, some of our handles don't come with a little um, measurement thing for your where the placement needs to go. Yeah. So I put tape on it and I mark my holes. And then I put the tape straight onto my board. Oh! Where I want my handle, and then I know right I never where to drill. Of that. Yep. So it's just a little hack, so you don't have to keep yeah. measuring and measuring and trying to figure that out. Oh, that's really smart. <laughs> okay. So then the handles. Once you've got that drilled, you'll just I'll have you hold the board for me. Take okay. it down there. What do you want? And me I'm going to gonna slide this screw from the back side. Okay into the top. Oh, okay, and then you just drill it and in. And they just twist right in. Wow. So those How will just twist onto there. How long did it take you to do Oops. the mantle in your house? Um, I did it during nap time. So <laughs> it was like maybe two hours. Can you sprout a cape and fly down the stairs too? <laughs> so during nap time, she did her whole mantle. The maker